What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I've got some great news for you guys. So iOS 8.4 has just been released, and literally moments later, we now have an iOS 8.4 jailbreak. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 8.4 untethered. This also does work for 8.3, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Cydium, you know, untethered, so this is fully working on iOS 8.4 without any sort of issues. Now I have done this, and it does work, but this is not the Taiji jailbreak. This is the PP jailbreak. They're using an unauthorized version of Taiji. Taiji's exploit, so you know this isn't fair to Taiji, but it is the faster jailbreak that is out. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak 8.4. Now, that doesn't mean you'll have any sort of issues, it just means that Taiji didn't let them use their exploit, but they released a tool with it anyways. Now, once Taiji does release their version of the 8.4 jailbreak, I will update the links. But for now, this is the PP jailbreak for iOS 8.4. Now, I would recommend you guys go ahead and update 8.4 in order to jailbreak. In the security content of iOS 8.4, it was noted that there were no Taiji exploits fixed. That means Means iOS 8.4 is now ready to be jailbroken and uh, you guys are good until the release of iOS 9. It's highly unlikely Apple will release an 8.4.1 update in order to block the jailbreak. So you guys are all set, you will be fully jailbroken on the latest version, enjoying the latest version of Apple Music or Beats Radio 1. So uh, you'll have all the latest fixes, the text message bug, effective power will no longer work. You just totally recommend to update to 8.4 and go ahead and continue with the jailbreak. So if you guys are on 8.3 right now, how I would update to iTunes is by plugging your device into your computer, going into iTunes and selecting update. Do not update from the settings in here. And just to show you guys, I am running iOS 8.4 right here on my iPhone 6 Plus. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to jailbreak using the latest PP jailbreak. Now you guys do need to have iTunes installed. You want to make sure you have all of the latest iTunes drivers on your computer. Uh, this is Windows only for now. Once the Mac version is released, I will post the video. But let's go ahead and jailbreak our device on the latest iOS 8.4. So you want to go ahead and select trust. Uh, make sure the computer is trusted. Otherwise, this will not work. And there's a few things we do need to do on our device before uh, continuing with this jailbreak. So in settings, go into touch ID and passcode and disable touch ID or passcode. This will interfere with the jailbreak. Also go into iCloud and sign out of this guy. So one more thing, go ahead and enter airplane mode. You can keep Wi-Fi on. So uh, this will ensure that you have a smooth jailbreak process. I have tested this and it does work on all devices. So you guys are all set to go. Anyways, so on my computer, I'm gonna have a download link right here or down below in the description. I want you guys to go ahead and download the latest version of the PP jailbreak. Now, aside from that, if you guys are wondering why jailbreak, there'll be a video down here explaining all of that. There's a ton of compelling reasons why to jailbreak. Most people do it to customize their devices, uh, you know, free up what Apple has changed up so you guys can access a whole bunch of settings you know tweak your device to how you like it theme it there's a whole bunch of reasons but anyways so uh, here with PP jailbreak downloaded make sure your device is plugged in trusted by your computer you have iTunes installed and go ahead and right click on the PP jailbreak and select run as administrator all right so once your device is connected iTunes installed this is the screen you guys will see so as you can see there is support for 8.4 over here make sure to go ahead and uninstall this option right here to third-party app store and uh, you know, it will be in Chinese, but when I do update the links for Taiji, the interface will be just a little bit different. But anyways, go ahead and click on the big button. It'll be green for Taiji. And uh, this pretty much asks you if you've done everything that I showed you, Touch ID, iCloud, uh, airplane mode, go ahead and select uh, second button. And as you can see, the progress will begin. So in a moment here, the latest iOS 8.4 version will be jailbroken on our devices. I think this is awesome because you get the best of both worlds. Uh, you get the latest features that Apple has provided, including the new music player. Uh, you get to stream Apple Music, uh, the Beats radio station, and you get to enjoy a jailbreak. So the opportunities uh, with both of these combined is going to be pretty awesome. Anyways, you will see the screen right here. Perfectly normal, uh, nothing to worry about. And I just wanted to add, a lot of people ask me, will a jailbreak slow down my device? Will the battery life get worse? And I wanted to clear some of that up. Basically, an iOS jailbreak will never slow down your device on its own. It's only the tweaks if you install a ton of tweaks and you have an older device, you could see a slight impact in performance. But there are actually tweaks that can improve speed, and not only speed, but also performance and battery life as well. So a jailbreak could be a double-edged sword. I mean, on one side, you can reduce performance by installing a whole bunch of stuff on another side you can actually increase performance and battery life with other tweaks so explore the world of jailbreaking I have a ton of tweaks on my channel that show a little bit of everything so be sure to check all of that out 
And yes, the jailbreak will void your warranty, but you can uh, erase the jailbreak from your device before returning it to the store for service. So no need to worry about that. But with all this stuff popping up, just go ahead and close out of it and uh, just let just let the jailbreak do its thing. So uh, yeah, just leave it here. Don't touch it. This is still going to continue. Uh, it's got quite a bit left to do. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes all in all. If you get this menu, all you guys need to do is uh, go through all this, just click on this and try it again. So I don't know, sometimes it fails, but in the end, if you try it again, it will work. So just set your device aside, don't touch anything on it, and let it do its thing. And, uh, just a warning for you guys, um, like I said, this may fail, just try it again. It usually works second time around. If not, restart your computer, uh, restart your device, and try again. Even try it on a different computer if it ultimately does not work. But if it does get stuck, you know, come back to this video another time. I will update the links very soon once Taiji is out. Maybe PP jailbreak itself is problematic, but... I've noticed that it does work if you just keep trying. But anyways, I just wanted to add that once you are done with this jailbreak, a lot of the tweaks will not work because iOS 8.4 is again another firmware, new firmware. So of course, not all tweaks will be updated for it. I mean, 8.3 has just gotten some updates, but anyways, I don't know why this is popping up right here. So it helps not to touch, don't even slide to unlock, don't touch anything on this screen. Let your device just sit and the jailbreak should be successful. And there we go. So once you get the green check mark, you are good to go. Your device will restart one more time. And uh, once it does boot up, we will be fully jailbroken on iOS 8.4. I know this isn't Taiji, but it is official. Even though PP jailbreak is not official, this does work perfectly. And I have not noticed any sort of side effects, especially if you uncheck the third-party app store selection. But in a moment here, I'll be showing you guys that I am jailbroken on iOS 8.4 on my 6 Plus, and my device is now restarting. So uh, let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and slide to unlock. Just go through this menu, it just thinks you went through a software update uh, and get started. So slide over and boom, you guys now have Cydia alongside the new music application on iOS 8.4. Open it up, this will set up all of the files and guys, I am so excited. The fact that we now have latest firmware and the latest jailbreaks. So the best of both worlds, this is amazing guys. Now the only thing left is the jailbreak iOS 9 but this will hold us at least until that day comes. So once this is done, I will be right back. And real quick, while City is doing its thing, I wanted to mention that uh, some troubleshooting tips Again, switch computers. Usually that does help. Make sure iTunes is installed. The jailbreak will not work unless you have iTunes installed. And make sure it's updated to the latest version. Also, make sure you have followed all the steps. And one of the reasons it may not work is because you guys updated to iOS 8.4 over the air. So you guys might need to restore your device completely in iTunes, back it up, then restore the backup, and then try this again. Because uh, the over the air files actually mess with the jailbreak a little bit. So that could be one of the primary reasons. But I will have more troubleshooting tips down below in the article description so uh, make sure to check that out but in a moment here I will have a working Cydia on iOS 8.4 all right so my device is respringing here I'm excited excited to check out Cydia uh, I know it's nothing different but it's just being on the latest firmware of jailbroken it's a good feeling you know Anyways, here we go, a working Cydia on iOS 8.4. And this comes with the latest Cydia, so that's a great bundle. Go ahead and go into changes and refresh. Uh, there might be a couple updates in here, so if there are, you wanna go ahead and install them right away. And doing this refresh will actually download all the Cydia packages because right now, Cydia is empty. So if you get this, go ahead and upgrade and confirm. So this is the last step, and now you guys are fully jailbroken in iOS 8.4. And like I said, not all tweaks are going to work right now. Because iOS 8.3 was just released, not even all tweaks work for 8.3, but 8.4 is going to receive a lot of updates over the next couple of weeks. So be patient, guys. Just know you are on the latest version of Cydia, latest version of the jailbreak, and latest version of iOS, and that is a good feeling. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope your device is now jailbroken on iOS 8.4. It's always good to be on the latest firmware. Be sure to check out some of my tweak videos. Now that you're jailbroken, you want to go ahead and start doing things that Apple would never let you do. And my jailbreak tweak videos show you how to do all of those. So be sure to check those out. Enjoy iOS 8.4 and being on the latest firmware. Have a great day, guys. Peace.